Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Today, we're at the Android Dev Summit at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, just down the road from where Android was started 10 years ago and where it's still developed today. As usual with these summits, all the sessions are recorded and available online, but that's a ton of content if you want to just get the highlights. So here you are, the Android Dev Summit, top five. Number zero. We're engineers, we get to do that. But seriously, this is a bit of a meta highlight. What struck me most about the keynote was how often everyone on stage referred to developer feedback. Your feedback. The feedback. 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 This team is amazing at taking feedback and putting it into the platform roadmap. In his introduction, Dave Burke even referred to the Android platform as a powerful SDK that puts developers first. And I think we saw that throughout all the announcements. Anyhow, number one, app bundles. They're now stable and available in Google Play, and on average, apps are seeing a 35% size savings compared to a universal APK. Also, instant apps are now supported as part of app bundles, so you can now upload one bundle for both instant and installed apps. And dynamic feature modules are now available for testing. They let you load modules on demand to make the core APK even smaller. Number two, the Google Play in-app updates API. It allows you to trigger updates within your app, either with a blocking flow where the user is expected to apply the update right away, or a flexible update where it doesn't need to be updated immediately. Now, some of us have built similar flows on our own before, but this is a standard implementation, which is easier to use. Now for number three, Kotlin 1.3. Kotlin became a first-class language for Android last year, and it's an awesome way to develop for Android. This latest version includes new features such as inline classes, unsigned numbers, and perhaps most importantly, coroutine support is now stable. If you haven't had a chance to dig in with Kotlin yet, there's one more thing they unveiled for it at the summit that'll interest you. A preview of the new Udacity course on Android app development in Kotlin using Jetpack, as well as other popular third-party libraries. Fourth on our list is the updates to Android Jetpack. I think it's so cool that it's now being developed in the open on public AOSP, which means we can all now see features and bug fixes as they're developed and contribute to any of the libraries. Also, the architecture components libraries that were announced at I.O. with Jetpack will be in beta later this month. Work Manager is for background tasks, and Navigation uses integrated tooling in Studio to simplify in-app navigation. Okay, our last one, number five. You know, it has to be foldable devices. These are very cool and totally make sense on Android, which is a platform that has supported different screen sizes and densities for a long time. The killer feature here is screen continuity which means starting an experience on the folded smaller screen, and as you unfold, it seamlessly transfers to the bigger screen. The team is adding resizable flags so apps can respond to folding and unfolding. That's it, your Android Dev Summit top five. For more announcements and updates, click the links in the description below. And on your way there, take a second to click that like button, that subscribe button, and share this video with your friends. They'll thank you for it, and we'll thank you by doing more of it. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show, and I'll see you at the next summit.